This is the F major section from my volume two method book. So you can check out the book. There's a link for that under the video, um, but feel free to just check out the lesson for free. Um, we're gonna go over some F major scales and arpeggios and triads and chords. And then we're gonna take a look at the melody by merits. So make sure you've gone through all the previous keys. We're going through different keys within the book. So you just wanna keep gaining experience reading different uh, key signatures as we go and, and experiencing different chords and textures and, and whatnot. So this section just has the, the technique part and the, and the melody by merits. So the F, two octave F major scale, we're going to um, use our third finger on B flat here and then we're going to switch to using the fourth finger on G and D like we have been in the rest of the book. But if you feel like you want to use four on B flat instead, that's just, that's okay. No problem. Still use three on F of course, but um, either fingering is fine. I'm going to use three, but if you use four, that's all right. Remember, just like I've said in other videos, um, saying the note names out loud is a really good tip, um, just so that you gain a real concrete awareness of where the flats are in this scale. On the F major position scale, we'll just go up to the highest note in position, which would be a G in this case, and then down to the lowest note, which is an E. So it doesn't change too much in this scale because the F major already took up a, pretty much the whole position. F major arpeggio. This is going to use the F chord and we've talked about the F chord in previous sections so if you didn't watch the C major video just make sure you you review that so you review the tips for the bar chord there. It's just a small bar over those two strings so you have to just stay close to the fret and make sure your bar is straight over both of them. The F major triad, so root position, that's F in the bass. First inversion, that's A in the bass. And back to root position. If you want, you can hold the F chord down the whole time with the bar, or you can just add it when needed. So again, don't worry about the theory behind that too much. Just get some experience playing them, and then in later books we'll be covering more theory on triads. So the chord progression in F major, F, or the one chord, C, or the five chord, D minor, or the six chord, back to C, the five chord, and then F, the one chord. Just gives you a little bit of experience um, playing those chords. Um, you want to know lots of chords just for you know strumming and messing around, but also they occur in your pieces very often. So you want to be able to recognize the chord shapes when they appear in pieces. So the melody by Merits. This melody is from a piece, a, a different piece, um, Tempo de Mercia, um, from his uh, method book, from Merits's method book, and this is just the melody. So. Um, this book is more around the preliminary level RCM, um, but that piece, the full piece by Merits, is more like grade one or two. So we're just playing the melody, but after you completed this book, um, feel free to look it up. It's available pretty readily online, um, and you can try out the whole piece. But it's, it's quite a bit more challenging, so this is just the melody, and it makes for a great little um, um, melody study in F major, and uh, lots of good rhythms and accidentals to practice.
and you could repeat that last section if you wanted. Just remember to use alternating I am. If you want to use your thumb on some of the low notes, like on the last line, that's just fine, but for the most part, it's very accomplishable with I am, so you can just plant your thumb down and just play through that melody. It's just a little bit of practice playing in F major, right? With some different rhythms and getting that B flat and also some accidentals in there, like the B naturals that occur, and the G sharp as well. Um, besides that, just aim for a real nice legato melody.